spectroscopy. Uh, Fischer esterification is a type of esterification process by reproducing a carboxylic acid and uh, an alcohol in the, pres in the presence of uh, an acid catalyst. The Fischer esterification is uh, also called as acyl substitution reaction. It's a type of condensation reaction involves the formation of carbon-carbon bond and uh, loss of small molecule of water. Carboxylic acid and alcohol are heated with presence of an acid catalyst. We are using here sulfuric acid as a catalyst. The two molecules combines to form an ester and the, uh, and the water molecule. I'll see the how the reaction is going to uh, here we are taking as a carboxylic acid, butyric acid, and uh, we will mix it with the alcohol. Here we are taking ethanol, and uh, these both will combine and uh, do the reaction and form the ethyl fluid. This is the pineapple ester, and uh, we will have the extra uh, water molecule with it. The, uh, we are using the acid catalyst because uh, it will increase the rate at which the equilibrium is reached but does not affect the position of equilibrium in order to shift the equilibrium to the right and prepare the ester in reasonable yield. Two measures can be taken. First, uh, we can uh, use large amount of alcohol so we can uh, have more product side and or either we have to remove the water from the product side so we have more ester. Uh, esters are essential class of compound extensively uh, extensively scattered in nature. Fats and oils contain long chain esters and uh, simple esters tend to have pleasant odors and in many cases uh, they have characteristic flavors and fragrance of flowers and fruits uh, due to these esters. Uh, usually the flavor or smell is due to the complex mi mixture of esters in which a single ester predominates. Many food and drink uh, that we use in day-to-day -day life have these esters as a flavor or smell in it. The apparatus we are uh, we required for this experiment is uh, on this side we have reflux condenser and uh, we will require this separately for now. Then we have uh, our solutions. This is the sulfuric acid. Uh, then we have our other solution, ethanol. Uh, then we will uh, require the uh, 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 that cylinder and uh, we have our extra tray which, uh, which contains extra beakers which we will require during the experiment. We also require this rotating apparatus for our uh, for our experiment, we also require the rotary apparatus. This apparatus is called rotary apparator and it is used to, to separate the dichlorobethane from the organic layer to provide our final product. Now I'm going to start with the procedure part. Uh, before starting the uh, experiment, make sure that you wear your goggles and your gloves. Uh, first, we are going to uh, take uh, 100 ml boiling flask and combine 7 ml of butyric acid and uh, 13 ml of ethanol and uh, 
to it, we are going to add 2 ml of sulfuric acid and a magnetic You guys are doing the same thing? No, no they're doing, doing pineapple. Pineapple. Are you guys doing banana too? No, we did a nylon. A nylon? Yeah. I mean, Is that even a Oh, for the last one? Yeah. Where do you do that? I was like, is it nylon? Did it have a smell? <laughs> did it come out what? Yeah. Well, look. Can I see? <laughs> Return the organic layer to the separatory funnel and repeat the process with an additional 50 milliliters of deionized water.
the tear that one so the, the weight were hundred something people like maybe can eat our friend it's not that way just right here the F groups are visible between 4 and 4.5. Around 5.5, there is an indication of dichloromethane left over. Around 1.9, you can see excess butanic acid. Between 1 and 1.5, you can see the overlap of methyl groups. The aroma of the pineapple specifies the success of the experiment and synthesizes 